Welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. I'm Alice, marketing analyst from Philip Securities Global Market. For this week's episode of Market Watch, we will recap our view this month on Singapore rates market and share our opinion on the U.S. and China stock markets. Singapore rates have performed incredibly well since post-global financial crisis until now, outperforming the STI every year except in 2013. Where we had the taper tantrum. One of the major contributing factors for the strong performance was the presence of the low interest rates and loose monetary policies from major central banks, including Fed Reserve, European Central Banks, and Bank of Japan. The last time Fed started a rate hike circle from 2004 into 2006, the Singapore Rates Index returned a very high compound annual growth rate over the two years. But this time, property and economic fundamentals of Singapore are vastly different. The Singapore rate sector currently faces the double whammy of higher interest rates and weak property fundamentals. We believe weak economy would lead to an underperformance of rates versus the general index over 2017 and 2018 and potentially bring an end to the Singapore rates bull market, which started since 2009. Based on the above arguments, our research department has downgraded our equal weight core on Singapore rates sector to underweight. From the list shown here, investors can look out for some locally listed property-related alternatives, which our research department currently have accumulated and buy calls on. Let's look at the U.S. market. The turn of sentiment has pushed the market upward. Translation seems to be spreading its effect all over the world as global equity markets trend higher in withdrawals of a U.S. led by Donald Trump. The belief of a deregulatory financial system, case style fiscal spending and a huge tax card for American corporations created the almost perfect scenario for American to be great again. We could say that all major indices of U.S. are continuously reaching new all-time high after the election last year. And we have listed some ETFs that related to the indices for your reference. Although the mad rise of indices have been fundamentally supported by the sound economic data and outperform annual reports. We are still worried that market is too optimistic right now. We are expecting markets to head towards euphoria conditions soon. Euphoria is usually associated with market peaks and we do not expect it to be any different this time around. However, the question remains on how long such euphoria can continue. The way we say it, the party might be ending soon. However, we are positive on China equity market this year. The overall environment has been vastly different. With the stable growth of economy and deleveraging policies from the government, more funds have returned to the stock markets. After the lunar year, the index rose as the trading volume increased. For specific sectors, we think that the stocks related to the bad and roll and state-owned enterprises reform will benefit from the authorities' policies. In addition, we are also optimistic about the liquor and Chinese medicine sectors because of their own scarcities in the equity market. Here are some China exposure ETFs that you can look out for. With this, we have come to the end of this week's edition of Market Watch. For more information on global equities, you may approach any representative from Philip Global Markets. Please subscribe to us on Philip Capital YouTube channel and Facebook, and stay tuned for more Market Watch videos. Thank you.